I love all bitches. Brown square, oval bitches. Rich, poor, slave bitches. Smart, dumb, crazy bitches. Screw, horny, dirty bitches. Dun 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 dun. Alkin just got a visage drop. <laughs> now I got it a while ago, but I got that bitch. Ah, what's up guys? I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit of a story, right? A little story, right? So I go grocery shopping, man. I see something that I like that was on, apparently it was on special, right? You see like, the, when you go through the aisles, you see like the little um, price tag thing kind of sticking out and it says like price squeeze or some shit, right? So I was like, oh damn, I might actually go buy it now. So I go into the aisle, I look at my item that I'm trying to buy and shit, max GE and all that good shit, fucking the, the, the price squeeze on it, it's 10 cents below what the actual price is. I'm just like... What the? Why the f thing was six bucks? It's like five eighty-five. I'm just like, oh, that's that's probably the best deal I've ever seen in my life. And the sad part is that that item right there on the shelf, half the items were gone because people thought they were on special. When you actually look at it, it's fucking ten cents on special. That must be a marketing scheme because, like, I mean, that is a scheme. But they're like, people have got to be like retarded because they don't. They just see, oh, it's a price squeeze. I am saving money. Let's buy it, right? That's kind of how humans look at things these days. But when you actually look at the thing, it says, you know, like 15 cents you save. It's just like, so I'm, I'm gonna like, I could probably go and buy this fucking item somewhere else for like five bucks. But listen, like, oh my god. You know what else I keep? Okay, if you guys hear some weird water in the background, it's my washer. I'm washing some clothes right now because you know, you know, ran out of all these underwear. I got like 40 pairs of uh, briefs, man. Man, that shit, I finished that stuff in like, you know, a month. Well, no, that wasn't, okay. I got 60 pairs, and I finished them in a month. You know why? Because all that ass sweat, man, I got to change my boxers twice a day. Could you imagine that, man? It's just, it's so sweaty down there. You just take off your briefs and put on new ones because they're just too, that's, that's disgusting. Okay. <laughs> Alkin's talking from experience, yo. Anyways, this is not meant to be a Road to Max Cape video. This is I'm just on this account because I'm, I have to do this for my daily thingy. Um, but, ooh, a 30k experience gain so far in 12-ish minutes. Not bad. Anyways, funny fact right here, right? So, um, every single place I go now, either if it's gas stations or um, grocery stores, I'm starting to see the exactly same trend, which is uh, Monster Drinks and uh, Red Bull. Actually, not Red Bull as much. More, more Monster Drinks and Rockstar Drinks and the other one. I don't know what it's called. They keep, they're always on special now. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. I mean, ever since I made that, it's not because of that video I made, right, where a monster killed someone, but like, I mean, I noticed ever since I made that video, like lately, all these grocery stores have had these uh, drinks on special. It's like three for five bucks or four for five bucks, seven I saw today. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, I saw the Rockstar drinks today. I, I never had one of those, but I only want to get into them. I already had the monster ones, and I, I'm trying to not have any more of that shit, because, you know, I want to live forever, you know? But yeah, I haven't had a monster drink in ages. That was totally not a monster drink. That was my back. That's what happens when you carry the team on your back, you know? I was like, I like to ask some of you guys, because maybe some of you guys are Cuban, but I'm not too sure how many Cuban viewers I have. Or maybe if you guys have been to Cuba or vacation there. Uh, but yeah, me and my friend, like my friend went once with this family to uh, to Cuba for this all-exclusive paid trip kind of thing. Um, and it was, I think, $700 a person or something like that. I think he went with him, his sister his mom and dad i think maybe one more person like his uncles or cousins or something like that um but yeah he he said that he really enjoyed the place and he loved it a lot and i was thinking about maybe going uh with him this year um the only thing is that right now like he doesn't have any money like he has to, he's, he's applying for jobs right now um and yeah it's quite it's getting quite difficult to actually get jobs these days even in canada well it's not really hard it's just um you have to apply to a few different places before you actually get one so uh, but yeah, I was wondering if anyone knows any kind of like areas there in um, in Cuba that are really, really nice. Um, I'm talking like beach, bitches, and broads. I was thinking about B words. Beach, bitches, and boobies. Ah, there we go. Yes, where is the best place in Cuba for beach, bitches, and booties? Bo boobies, booty. I can, there's a lot of B words. Holy shit. Uh, but, bock. Bock? Cock. What? No, I'm just getting Anyways, yeah, I'm sorry for the past few videos, like, recently, the past, even, like, past few weeks, maybe, even. Um, my videos haven't exactly been the same. They haven't been about me talking about random stuff and stuff like that and me kind of just having some fun. They've been a little more formal, a little more guides here and there, a little more, um, you know, just keeping you guys updated a few things. Uh, mostly because, you know, the whole game's about to change, but um, even before that, I was still doing things like uh, chaotic, chaotic um, you know, mall versus the glass gloves, and a few comparisons, and the wood cutting, um, sawmill place, stuff like that. Um, I'm not trying to change my YouTube in any way at all. Um, I just kind of felt like making a few videos of that kind of thing, because I know a lot of subscribers from way back in the day, um, they'd be subscribed for things like that, and whenever I made those videos, I got some great comments saying like, hey, I missed these kind of videos, this is, uh, you know, what I subscribed for a long time ago. 
um, you know, your commentary is great, but I enjoy these just as much. So, um, yeah, I try to, I just try to split it up a little bit. And uh, I thought, hey, you know, since I am a top page player, maybe I'd show you guys a few skilling methods and a few uh, tri tips and tricks that I can uh, show you guys to maybe help you guys out as well. So yeah, sorry if you guys don't like those too much. If you guys don't, just maybe give me a quick comment saying, you know, like I don't mind them or, you know, stick to making like funny commentaries or stuff like that. Um, just so I know what to stick to. Uh, but yeah, I will, you know, spread out my um, content here and there sometimes just for uh, a little bit of difference. A little bit of change, that's all. I'm not, I'm not doing it forever. Ah, oh, thank God this game is done. I'm, I'm really getting tired of this. Oh, this guy's in the video. Good job for you. Oh, 12,000 points. That's not, that's not too bad. Bye, YouTube. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to end the video here though. But anyways, that's cool. Okay. How much experience did I get from that game? Oh, it's going to log me out. I hate this. I don't know why. But when you go up the ladder, it logs you out, and then you log back in. And Oh, nice. More hunting experience. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's leave. What do we get? Eh, what the hell are the... Oh, yeah, I'm in a weird-ass world. I know. All right, so I got 53k hunter, basically. Ooh, that was 600 hunter experience for catching that. That's nice. Anyways, I'm going to pause this, and I will see you guys, I guess, in the next clip.